What's up, guys? Thanks for tuning in. This is a very... Uh, that's a little bit better. This is Optimus, and we're doing another live mailbag. Now, uh, for those of you that are watching this live, welcome to the show. Uh, for those of you that will be watching this later on, welcome to the show as well. Now, i got to get into the comment section here so that I can oh, no, I gotta see... No, i got to turn the volume off. View all comments. Here we go. And things should be coming up. Should be coming up, hopefully here in any minute now. Uh, let me send this out to Twitter. In one second. Post that there. Let me head this on over to Facebook, so everybody on the Facebook knows. And then we can get things going, fellas, boys and girls, children of all ages. Let's see. What's up, de Detective? Detective? Detective Pib? As in Mr. Pib? The, the drink? I used, to, I used to really like drinking that stuff. That was good stuff. Oh, hi! Hi! Hello, Moon Knight, Toy Story 3 fan, all you cool peoples. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to get this live comments. How did I do this? I always forget how to flip and flap and do this, where it shows up easily for me. Because hmm. I'm not good at doing this. I'm still not. I'm. St I still haven't mastered things. I, I still haven't mas mastered things. View all comments. Maybe that'll do it. Eh, there we go. Maybe maybe this will work. Hopefully, I wanted to show up where it says updates automatically, but it's not showing me that right now. So it's not a flowing thing. Have you done any Cyberverse generation figures? There we go. Update automatically. That's what I want to see. Uh, like Goldbug or Gold Bumblebee. Uh, yeah, just search my channel. You'll find it. It's it's there. Um, I've done that. Um, let's see. That that. We got Twitter. We got Facebook. And put that there just for the heck of it. So, uh, I hope everybody's doing well. What's up? There we go. There goes the chat. Sal, how are you, Salvador? The winner of the contest. Hello, Derek the 13. Rickard? Ricardo guy? What's up? My favorite Transformers cartoon. I got a lot of favorite cartoons. Jay Bryce. When did I ever say that I was done with YouTube? Never said that I was done with YouTube. I said that my AdSense partnership with them is over, but that's that doesn't mean my uh, that that I'm done with YouTube. People just assume things. That's not good. Uh, did I hear about Shockwave? Uh, I've heard rumors that Shockwave is going to be in Transformers Prime. I'd be curious to see what they're going to do with them. My favorite Transformer toy. Block Lord, um, I really, I, there, there's so many, there's so many that I like, I, I, I couldn't pick one. Uh, Dusty Dirt, yeah, this is the fourth time, actually, that I've done this live. Uh, let's see. But I can sim consider the hammer thing on Transformers Prime Breakdown a target master. Yeah, it kind of. Kind of is. Am I going to review the Bane Batman 2-pack? No, I don't. I didn't like the 2-pack. That's a Toys R Us exclusive. I don't like it. Uh, my opinion on the Michael Bay trilogy as a whole, I uh, thoroughly enjoyed them. And uh, I, I'm, I'm happy that... You know he's he signed on to do more. I, I like the movies. I think they've done a wonderful thing for the franchise. I think uh, it's brought new blood into it. I think a lot of new fans are here because of it, and I I think that the movies are good. 
Uh, let's see. My favorite turtle, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle era. I really like the original uh, '80s turtles. Favorite Dark of the Moon toy. I think I answered this last week. Uh, my favorite Dark of the Moon toy is probably the uh, the Jetwing Optimus Prime. Do you have any other Transformer Prime figures you're going to review? Uh, when I get them, I'll review them, yeah. Is the Retail Bruticus different in mold than the SDCC? It's just the paint. It's just the paint, and they're sold separately. You don't get the fancy box. What's up, Bamboo 2? It goes well today. Thank you for asking. Hope things are going well for you. What do you think of Mike, Michael Bay's... Uh, we don't know anything about the Ninja Turtles... Um, that Michael Bay is just producing. He's just producing it, guys. I mean, that's what everybody... I mean, it bugs me so much that people get so mad about Michael. Oh, Michael Bay is doing it. He ruined Transformers. Relax. He's just producing it. He's not directing it. It's insane. It's just insane. So um, we got we got the, uh, the mailbag thing going on today. We got that. I got a... Uh, whole bunch of mail here we're going to go through. Um, I'm going to, for, for everybody that um, is interested, what is this? Trans, Transformer font. Oh, okay. All right. Um, what, I, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm putting all these that come from different places, I'm actually putting them on a Google map. Somebody gave me that idea, and I'm putting them on a Google map. So I'm going to put a link down in the video, uh, at, in, in the description, so you guys can check that out later, and you can see from where out the, uh, across the world and stuff that people have sent me things, and, and all these I'm going to add to it. So, set that there, set, oh, uh, ah, okay. All right, oh, let's see. So this came from, it doesn't say who this came from. I'm sure the letter will probably say it. It's a nice typed letter, a very long typed letter. This is from Jesse, and uh, Jesse included a drawing here. What do we have? We have Autobots versus Decepticons. We're repair bots. We're not programmed for this kind of action. Oh, that's funny. I know that Soundwave and the Decepticon logo look bad, but that's not that bad. That's pretty cool. Anybody who takes the time to draw stuff for me, that's that's cool in my book. So. That is awesome. So what? Oh, Jesse also wrote some other stuff on here. Autobot Quick Shot. He he wrote the uh, Team Bottomus logo there, and then we have some other drawings there. Very cool. Uh, Dear Optobotomus, I am a huge fan of your Transformers videos. Uh, what actually got me to continue watching them is either your Ultra Magnus City Commander or Protectobots. It was about two years ago since I saw those videos, since 8th grade, which was 2010-2011. I've gone on your channel to see new Transformer reviews. Oh, since 8th grade, okay. Uh, I, would like to, I would like to see a Generation Drift or Cybertron Hotshot review. I have... I never got drift. I got the blur re remold, slight remold, uh, but repaint the one with a different head. I really actually don't like the figure too much. Um, I just not not a big fan of it. And I don't have uh, Cybertron Hotshot. I know that you don't really like the Unicron truly, but I grew up watching Cybertron and Energon. Hotshot has been my favorite Cybertron character, and I've never seen him in stores. Last year, I got him from a friend at school. I can tell you that he is a great figure and would be a great piece in your collection. I have seen your Weaponizer's Optimus Prime toy review and agree when you said Hasbro has been making figures easy now. I thought to myself when watching that video that was a, that was a deluxe scale transformation. It should have been harder to make it fun. If Hasbro, is ha if Hasbro wants me to buy that figure for $30, it should be worth, worth it and better concealed. I am happier with my Powerizer's Optimus Prime figure. I hate that I hate the arms, chest, and feet showing plainly in vehicle mode. It is a robot in disguise, not hey, let's go meet some humans and possibly scare them to death, robot. <laughs> good one, good one. Uh, you can see half the robot mode, which bugs me. As much to make the transformation fun and difficult. The transformation in vehicle mode is like a scout or cyberburst figure, if not worse. 
I enjoy watching your reviews and can't wait for more. You, in my opinion, are the best Transformers reviewer on YouTube. Now, I really, I think there's so many other good people that are out there that do Transformer reviews that it, whenever, it, whenever anyone says that to me, it's a very nice compliment, but I don't agree with it. I, I mean, I, I know there are a lot of other good people out there that do a lot of wonderful work. Uh, you are the only one that I know. Wait, you are the only one that I know about that has that almost always goes from vehicle to robot back to vehicle. You tend to influence my decisions on what figures I should get. The figure I want, the figure I want most is a repaint of your first Human Alliance figure. Huh? Oh, okay. I, I, all right, I, I get it. Uh, I've seen them only once at stores. Um, in Newport News, I don't know where that is. Uh, for some of your newer fans, I'm talking about the Human Alliance Bumblebee with Sam Witwicky as a stealth Bumblebee repaint. Yeah, you guys remember that one, the, the black Human Alliance Bumblebee repaint? Uh, I'm, I know in your Human Alliance Sideswipe review, you said to get Bumblebee first, but at my local Kmart, they only had Sideswipe. Uh, we do have a Walmart, though, where I get most of my Transformers. I remember my first Voyager figure. It was Movie Starscream. I remember because I could never figure out how to figure out the transformation. I have since broken and lost him. Wow, that sucks. Uh, first is first movie Starscream? The Voyager one? That wasn't that difficult, I don't think. Uh, I watch your videos the most. Like I said, you were the best. I've seen Leader Megatron from the first movie from a friend and told him about your first movie um, Leader Megatron. My family says I'm immature. Um, now when I say, now when I, now when I say it, I say, or now when they say it, I say, I know I like to have fun. I made up a definition of immature as a word that born people call people, uh, born people call people who like to have fun. Thank you for all your videos and can't wait for more Transformers. I've included a drawing of animated Bumblebee and G1 Soundwave based on your video reviews, based on your video reviews. Uh, I have drawn the insignias on both or on another piece of paper, I'm sorry for the way it looks because I'm not the best artist. Your fan and future collector, J.P. Jesse. P.S. I would appreciate if you would write me back. Um, it's I, I love I would everybody asks me to write them back, and sometimes I, I try to get down to do it, but I'm I'm always so busy. It, it's 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 hard for me. I mean I I'm not, I'm not trying to say anything, but uh, when when you get older, you don't have a lot of time to sit there and do you know uh, stuff like that. Um, Grimmel, why well, he wrote he wrote me a nice letter. Uh, I, I I appreciate that. But um, so it's it's a uh, so it's it's not easy for me to sit down and, and reply to everybody. That's why I kind of like doing this because this allows me to reply right back to you, and it, it's fairly easy to do. Um, when your family says you're immature, you know, I'm going to try and touch on that. Uh, I've, I've always used this as a definition of maturity. Uh, maturity is knowing when it's okay to have fun and when you need to act mature. Um, because you collect toys, you know, because I collect toys, I don't consider myself immature. Uh, I, I don't think anybody, especially your family, I don't think your family should really say that about, you know, they should be supportive and things of that nature. But really, maturity is something that you know you obviously get as you get older. But it's 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 knowing when it's okay to uh, you know it's it's knowing when it's okay to be immature. I mean, I'm goofy. I joke around. I act immature. But when 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 it's time for me to get down and be serious with something. I can be, and for me, I think that's a really good definition of maturity, when you're able to recognize the times when it's okay to kind of just be goofy and be a kid, and then other times when you need to step up and be an adult. So, um, the Goonie shirt, yeah, I, 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 I my, my, what's up, Bob? Uh, my biggest problem is that my, my laundry, when I wear it, uh, as, as I wear it, then goes in the laundry, then I wash it, and then it gets folded and it gets put back on the top. So I wear the same crap quite often. So it doesn't. It, I, I, it's not a very good uh, rotation system I have. Um, let's see. 
I'm I'm glowing. Oh, that's that's just because the light is really bright. Sorry. But when I turn it off, it gets a whole lot more grainy. See, and I don't, I don't know. I don't think. I don't know. Maybe I can turn that on. Mm. That's a little bit better. Yeah. Still not. Still not good, but it's not bad. Let's see. How did you get Optobotamus? What? When did I... What? How big is my collection? Uh, as big as this room is. It's very big. It's a very big collection. Uh, so, next one. Um, Ian? I can't, I, I can't tell what this actually says. So I'm going to open this one up. Let's see what the next next letter is. Again, I'm trying to keep this relatively short. Uh, I mean, I wanted to keep these not too long of videos to make people uh, actually be able to watch them. Um, I'm just I, I'm I'm trying to. This is all he sent. But that hey hey. Uh, two Optobotomus. Hi, my name is, I think it's Ian. E-I-A-N. And I do reviews, too. I did Cars 2, Toys, and Bumblebee. I, I am on YouTube. I like your videos. All right, Ian. I'm, I hope I'm saying your name right. Uh, thank you for that, sir. Greatly appreciate that. Now, let's, now this one actually is really kind of cool. Um, but again... There's a, oh no, this is, this is close to where I live here. Uh, I, but it doesn't say who it's from, but I like how they put the uh, a little transformer thing on there. And then if anybody does want to send me anything, there's the address. Get the, if I get the light out of the way, there we go. Optobotomus at P.O. Box 3256, Huntington Beach, California, 92605-3256. And again, I'll put, the, or I'll put that down in the, in the video description, so if you guys want to, Send it. Send anything to me. By the way, go for it. Um, I, I keep flipping through things here. Uh, I have uh, two Hercules um, O'Neill Prime. I, I actually have two sets of those. What does my logo my logo represent? Doesn't really represent anything. It was just uh Something that, I mean, I, I initially had on my uh, videos as part of an intro and that somebody took it and decided to make kind of a logo of it. How did you come up with the name Optobotamus? Uh, Sal, it's, it's actually really simple. It's Optimus with bot in the middle. That's, that's all it is. Maybe you stop reading those and tell us how awesome we are as viewers. Uh, my all, all my viewers are awesome. Do we know when to uh, Grimlock is coming out for War for Cybertron? I don't think we actually know specifically when it's coming out. Uh, I still have some Marvel Legend figures. Uh, I, I only get the X-Men ones, though. Uh, what are my thoughts on the new Fall of Cybertron toys? Uh, I'm liking them. Uh, they're they're a little bit smaller than I you know probably would like, but I, I think they're still good figures. What started YouTube for me? Um, honestly, I was uh, I I, I started it started back in 2007. I've told this story before. Uh, I I started this back in 2007 because I couldn't figure out how to transform Ironhide, and I looked I looked it up on YouTube. I found Matrix Prime's videos and uh, saw him, and I figured out how to transform him. But then when I got him transformed into robot mode, I was like, well, how am I supposed to get him back into his truck mode now? I don't know how to do that. So I figured it out, and then I was like, hey, I can do videos like this. So that's how I started doing them. 
Uh, will you be getting Hegemon and Night Morpher? No, I got the. Uh, I, I had Night Morpher. I, oh, I had the Dark, or I had the Optimus Prime, or well, the, the Nemesis Prime repaint of it. Have you ever had to sell pieces of your collection? Uh, I sell I sell stuff randomly, um, stuff that I don't necessarily care too much to keep in my collection anymore. I, I do that every now and then. How do you get your background white? It's a very good question, Bob. It's magic. Uh, Cyclops, I had Cyclops and I returned it. I didn't want to review it. Had no interest in reviewing it. I didn't like the figure. So because they were nice enough to send it to me, uh, I didn't want to give a negative review on it and possibly hurt their sales or anything like that. So did not did not keep that thing. Uh, are you a PR fan? Um, I know who he is. I know PR. I've met him in person. That's that's as far as I I'll, I'll go with anything with him. Magical. Is it possible you could show us a comparison of Fall of Cybertron and the Power Core Combiner Grimstone? No, I don't. I don't have that anymore. Uh, I don't have any attention to get the Play Arts figures. I'm I'm happy with the Batman Arkham Asylum DC Direct ones. Have you ever given away any expensive items? What What do you mean? I wouldn't say I love PR. <laughs> uh, you can you can send me anybody can send me a friend request on Xbox Live. The name my name is just Optibonimus on there. But guys, I don't play online games. It's not something that I do. I go on really. I have Xbox Live kind of to download things that I I, I like playing. Uh, like I downloaded the. Um, um, the 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 fall of Cybertron demo. I play that. I don't play online. I don't I don't do multiplayer, anything like that. Have I donated something expensive? I have given away so much stuff. It's ridiculous. So I expensive. Um. I mean, I've, I've, I've done contests where, like, the prize, I don't remember what it was. It was, like, a Masterpiece Optimus Prime um, years ago and things like that. But I give, I, I give, stuff, all the, give, give stuff away all the time. Uh, let's see. Um, are you planning to get Masterpiece 12 Sideswipe? Yes, I am. Uh, and hopefully I get the right one that comes with all the cool extra features like the the pile drivers and stuff so we're going to open this and yeah this is from Santa Ana which is relatively close to where I live what do we have here a bunch of different little tiny things oh here that's cool cool picture here dig that Megatron animated Megatron one of my favorite Megatrons, by the way. And we have Optimus Prime. You can't have you can't have Megatron without having Optimus Prime. Very cool. All right. <laughs> oh, this is interesting. Okay, let's see. Dear Optimus, my name is Alex. I am 10 years old. I am one of your YouTube fans, and I enjoy watching your videos. I wanted to ask you when. When you are planning to review the Constructicons with the Autobot insignias, I don't know what you, which ones you mean, Alex. I'm sorry. Uh, I also want to know if you had Cybertron Leader Optimus Prime. I also want to know what you think will happen in Transformers 4. Uh, the the you you mean the ones that my my friend sent me, the Constructicons, that really aren't like Constructicons or something. 
I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if that's what you mean. Um, Cybertron leader Optimus Prime, I don't, I'm not even sure which figure that is, to be totally honest. Sorry, what do I think will happen in Transformers so far? I have no idea. Uh, I, I hope it's pretty good, though. Oh, he lives up in Diamond Bar. Okay. Can you make a shout out to Full Metal, Full Metal in Conterras for the people that play Minecraft? Anybody here play Minecraft? You should check this person out. Here, wait, get that. Check that person out. I can't say the name. Full Metal in Contra. I don't, I don't know, but there you go. So if any of you guys play that, do it. Uh, let's see. What are you guys saying in here? What are you saying? If you get Fall of Cybertron, will you play online? No, I won't play it online. I'll, I'll probably try it out like once and then turn it off. Uh, I'm not good at playing online games. Really very bad at it. So I don't like doing it. Uh, are you going to review some Transformers animated toys? Angryzilla, I would recommend using the search function on my channel, and you will find that I've reviewed, I think, just about every single one of them. Does your wife, wife think you're wasting money on toys? Uh, basically, the long and short of it is I make more money reviewing toys than I do on wasting them. So uh, it's, it's, it's not really considered a waste. I mean, if, if I buy a figure that costs me $100, if I make more than that, then it's an investment in, in the business that I do here. Uh, the sci-fi guy. Yeah, YouTube YouTube has been doing this live thing for a little while. I just had mine turned on, though. Boop. <laughs> What's the hardest transformation that you've done? Uh, the hardest thing that I've ever had transforming was the Voyager... My cell phone. Um, was the Voyager class Mixmaster from the Revenge of the Fallen line. I never ended up reviewing it. I'm trying to get my phone out of my pants. Um, oh, my wife texted me. She's in the other room. Oh, oh, she, her allergy medicine's making her tired. Uh, so, um, that I, that one was the hardest, and I never ended up reviewing it. Uh, what are your thoughts on the return of the first edition of the U.S.? I think it's a very good idea. I think that a lot of people wanted that to happen. I think Hasbro knew that the people wanted it, and they knew that it kind of the ball got dropped. So I'm glad to see that they're going to be redoing it which is really kind of cool. I'm very happy for it because I would like to get another first edition uh, Optimus Prime and have my buddy paint it, do a custom paint job on it to to make him a Nemesis Prime, which would be really cool. Um, this is a very strange letter. Uh, and people people don't put their, their addresses and stuff on here, so I can't tell where some of this stuff comes from. All right. So, what do we have here? Open this like so. Dear Optobotomus, I love your reviews on Transformers Prime Toys. I wanted to ask, when are you going to do the review of Arachnid? I heard you could get one at Toy Kingdom. Anyway, please write back. My address is something, something, something. He's in England. I don't... Yours sincerely, Tube, 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 I don't know, please do not show my address. Of course, I won't see your address. My name is Tuba Schlank. Tube, we're going to call him Tuba Schlank, but that's not his real name because uh, he asked me not to read his name. Okay, that's fine, um, but his name is Tuba Schlank. I have renamed him that. <laughs> uh, when, when, I get, when I get Arachnid, I'll probably review it. It probably won't be a very good review. Um, my favorite first edition figure is probably Optimus Prime. I like that one a lot. Uh, weaponizers do cost less than leader class figures. They're like 30 bucks. Oh, excuse me. Sorry, I'm, I'm reading through some of these. Uh, the I really do like the Transformers Prime Sunway. That's a good one. When did I start? When did I start getting paid to review? 
Um, I can tell you exactly. I first started getting paid. Hold on, it's loading. Uh, my first check was in. Uh, November of 2008. So I joined YouTube uh, in October of 2007, and it took me a year. Uh, I get paid because of the ads that appear on my videos. I actually am kind of tired, believe it or not, Derek. Uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know why, but I really kind of am. <laughs> Hosley for you. Well, thank you. That's very kind of you. Thank you. I actually haven't uh, pre-ordered Fall of Cybertron yet, Pokezilla. You know, it's pretty bad, but... Dusty, yeah, apparently her, uh, her allergy medicine's making me sleepy as well. So, yeah, um... Uh, so, I, I became a YouTube partner, um... Actually, I became a partner in uh, September, September of 2008, but I didn't earn enough until November of 2008 to get my first check. I beg of you, please review Fall of Cybertron Grimlock. I don't have it. There is no Fall of Cybertron figure out yet. Uh, the case above there, I've, I actually did a little rearranging. Let me, uh, let me bring that up so I can, I can show you here. Oh, you you actually oh yeah you can see it. It's it's really hard to see because of how bright it is. Um, but whoop that oh wrong way. Uh, that's actually the Mark II Iron Man. I rearranged some stuff. As you can see, I have Superman there. I used to have Superman in that case above the belts, but that's the uh, the Mark II Iron Man inside there now. What is your first time? What is your first time you saw the first Transformers? Uh, I'm 33 years old, so I grew up with them. Ads. Ads are actually running on this. I didn't know that. I didn't know that ads run on here. Uh, you get paid for reviews. Um, I get paid for the content that I put on YouTube, and that just happens to be reviews. So yeah. Well, Weatherman, what, what, I'll, I'll explain this later on. What actually happened is, I mean, my partnership with YouTube, that, I, I, I tweeted about this. My partnership with YouTube um, didn't, didn't necessarily end. It, it just means that I'm not getting paid from AdSense anymore. Uh, I, I've gone with a different uh, ad a agency, I suppose you can call it, uh, and... The, the, the gentleman contacted me, and I'm, I'm still having ads on my videos and things of that nature, but they're not coming from AdSense anymore. So that partnership ended. Do you have advice for people who want to get more views on their reviews? Uh, really, the only thing that you can do is uh, keep doing content and keep putting out good stuff. No, there's... Yeah, I didn't think there was any ads on this. Um, so, uh, how many Hot Toys do I have? O'Neill Prime, I only have three? Four. I have four, sorry. Um, so, the... Uh, uh, what, was I answer, what was I asking? Oh, advice. So... So just, uh, so I mean, really, you just have to kind of keep putting out content, keep putting out stuff that you enjoy doing, and really kind of advertise your stuff. Put your stuff on the Transformer forums. People will see it there. That's really all you can do. The, it, it's really tough, and people have criticized me because I say this, but it's really tough to get into this right now because there are so many people that are actually doing video reviews now that when you search for them, my name comes up, Pia's name comes up, uh, Sean Long comes up, Vangelis comes up. All these, all these people that are fairly successful at this, their names come up before anybody else's. So it's hard to really kind of get yourself out there. Um, 
and uh, you, you know, I mean, you just got to keep at it. That's all you really have to do. What are you going to do with all your figures when you are a senior? Sell them or pass them down? I have, I have no idea. I have no idea. Uh, Grimwolf, will you be getting more money? That's the idea. That's, that's the hope. How come I didn't review the Transformers War for Cybertron and Megatron? Uh, I basically just forgot. Basically just forgot. Yeah, I plan on getting more Hot Toys figures. Derek the 13th, thank you. I, I, liked, I got this hat at uh, the Universal Studios Hollywood. Among your fellow Transformer YouTube reviewers, who are, your, who are your favorites? I don't really get to watch a lot of people's reviews. That's, I mean, what, what people need to understand is that this is my, my career. Uh, this, this is where I earn my money. So, so when I sit here, I, I, had, I, had, I, I owned a business before. I had jobs before. And uh, this, is, this has become a good source of income for me. So I'm able to use this as my job here doing YouTube reviews. And this is my business now. But when it comes down to it, when I'm, I'm sitting here on, in front of this computer all day long. Uh, so when I, and, and I'm editing, I'm shooting videos, things like that. But when, when, I'm, when I'm not sitting here, I don't like sitting here. It's like, th this is the best, best example. You guys are younger, so let's say, let's say you have a job working at McDonald's. When you're not working, you don't want to be at McDonald's. You don't want to stay there. You don't want to constantly keep going there when you're off of work. It's the same kind of thing. You know, so when I'm not doing work, I don't want to be sitting here in front of my computer. Um, I used to watch Sean Long, but he's too boring, lame transformation. Uh, Sean doesn't really do a lot of transformer reviews now. He does a lot of other things, mostly. Uh, I don't, I don't really have any intentions yet of doing reviews of Legos. I might throw one in every now and then just because, but I, I don't have any intention of kind of starting those up. Ita Murek. Hi, from Transformer fan from Poland. Hello. Do you plan on getting the Dark Knight Races Hot Toys? No, I don't plan on getting any of those. I think McDonald's pays below minimum wage. I think minimum wage is the legal minimum, Mike. I don't think they can put below that. <laughs> so... Uh, let's see. Moving on. Oh, this is from uh, Marcelo. Next letter that we have here. What's up, Dano? Hey there. Hey there, uh, Camaro. My favorite food is sushi. I love sushi. Don't send me sushi, people. That would be bad. Ha! I, I, all of a sudden, I, I, I look like I'm... Please, I, I hope this doesn't offend anybody, but apparently I look Mexican. That's me. And I guess I look Mexican. I guess that makes sense because I have, I, I every time you guys see me, it's like towards the end of the week. So I, I'll shave probably like, t uh, probably tomorrow or something like that. So this all goes away, and then this is how much I get in a week. So I don't have to shave that much, but apparently I look like a fat Mexican. <laughs> and then Raphael. Which is a very cool picture. Dear Optobotomus, I know you like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, so I drew Raphael and you eating pizza. From Cello, a.k.a. Bullseye Cello. I'm 10 years old. Thank you, Cello. I, I hope I'm saying your name right, but uh, I look like a, a fat Mexican. Odale. That's funny. And everybody always, you know, they call me a, uh, like, uh, uh, what is that called? Um, a neck neck beard? Neck beard, I think. I think, it, yeah, neck. Oh, there it is. Yeah, the neck beard. It's not even really a neck beard. It's just I. This is all the only place where I grow facial hair. I mean, it goes down here, 
in here, and then I get a little bit up here. I mean, I don't get anything here. Everyone always asks me why I shave it like that. I don't. New Zealand, good eye, mate. I was at your live stream about a week ago, and comments would not load and could not see them. I, I don't know. I, I, I honestly don't know. I honestly don't know. Uh, the first editions are being released uh, pro at the end of the, the year, I think, like November, December. It's an Amish beard, except the Amish people, you know, trim up here. So it's <laughs> so it's hard to hard to say anything. Let's see this one uh, again. There's no name on this, guys. You don't you don't put return addresses or anything. I need to. Well, I don't really need to know where you're from, but like I said, I'm I put them on the Google Map thing so that everybody can see where people are coming from. Darth Joker, sweet. Welcome to the show. Let's see what we have here. We first, I, I like looking at the drawings first. Oh wow, that's actually really, really, really pretty good. It looks like it, it's a Dodge Dart. That's really a really good drawing. You know what's amazing is my very first car was a Dodge Dart. That's very cool looking. Damn. That's impressive. All right, let's see what we have here. He's only 12 years old. Um, my name is... I can't say that. I just want to tell you that I love your videos and I've been a fan of yours for three years. I'm 12 years old and drew a model of the new 2013 Dodge Dart. You will be expecting more stuff from me. Oh, okay. Oh, you can't. Okay. Keep doing what you're doing. You're a fan. Oh, Anthony. His name is Anthony. Okay. If you want to talk to me, Xbox Live. I mean, anybody want, that wants, like I said, um, I'll go on there after this and I'll, I'll accept anybody, but I don't, like I said, I don't really go on there. I don't talk a lot, uh, so don't get upset uh, anything. What do I do with my spare time? My spare time really is on the weekends, like this right here, and I'm doing this video. I'll do another um, live thing later on tonight, and then Sunday I play hockey, and that really is the only thing. Have you ever thought about going to a foreign Transformer convention, such as Auto Assembly in England, as a guest? Actually, I'm trying to go to Auto Assembly next year. Uh, they, uh, um, if, 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 blah, blah, blah. As you guys know, like I, I'm good friends with Kapow Toys, which is trying to get me to come over uh, and hang out at their booth, and hopefully that works out. I would absolutely love to do it. Um, collection videos. Any, any, if anybody ever wants to see stuff that I have, head on over to my other channel, which is youtube.com slash thebottomist, and I've shown off many of my, my shelves and things over the years and such, and you can check that out. Any Batman the animated stuff you own or will oh wait, where the hell where'd you go? Um that we review or don't know. Uh I, I have some stuff. I don't I haven't really reviewed it or anything. Uh, I don't have a connect, no. Will I be getting the Make Toys Giant O'Neill Prime? Nope, have no plan on getting that. I, I I like the Hercules a lot better. Well Darth, that's that's fine. That's fine. Can you say my name, Aunt or Auntie? What's up, Auntie? Aunt? Uh, did you go to school for film? Uh, actually, no, I didn't. Uh, I, I mean, it, it's just a five-year process. It's getting warm in my room. Plasticon, that name sounds familiar. Um, uh, really, I started off with a webcam. Um, I actually think I still have the webcam somewhere. This is, here it is. This is the webcam, believe it or not, that I started my video reviews with uh, five years ago. This little thing right here. This is what I did. This is this is exactly what I used. And uh, over the years, you know, I've upgraded my software, my editing software. Uh, I used to use Windows Movie Maker. Uh, I updated that. My fish are doing well. Thank you. Um, 
does Berger have a vagina? Well, she's a girl, so yeah. Um, you know, so I just kind of lear have learned things of, as I've gone along. Do you like turkey? I like turkey. <laughs> Uh, Dusty, Dusty's Dirt Pit. I'm actually uh, working on getting my goalie mask painted, so hopefully it'd, it'd be pretty good. Um, and I will be getting the, the TFC Toys Uranus. I will be getting that. I'm not going to say it the other way. No, Norm, no, Nemo and Dory have not died. I take very good care of them. Uh, no, I'm not going to the New York Comic Con. Uh, I got the. Th I mentioned earlier, uh, Burn Phoenix, that I had the uh, the Cyclops sent to me. I sent it back because I didn't really feel like reviewing it. I didn't like it. Oh, you're an actual film student. Awesome. Awesome. Very cool. Uh, what video? The video editing that I use uh, currently is the uh, Pinnacle Ultimate Studio 15, I think. ASOB 17. Uh, happy birthday! Let's see. On to the next letter that we have here. Again, this one comes from uh, England, I'm guessing, but. I don't know where to. I don't know where to put on my my thing. And this is really kind of closed up tight. Let's see here. I gotta get a letter opener. I really do. If your figures were disappearing, which would you grab to save? I don't know. I have no idea. Oh, hey, everybody's giving me Ninja Turtle stuff. Here's another one, right, so I can see what I'm doing. There's another Ninja Turtle, Donatello. Of course, Donatello. Dear Paul Optobotomus, I'm 10 years old, and I love your vids. I have nearly all your videos saved in my favorites. My sister recently entered your TMNT competition for and got a reply. I live in the UK, which means... We have to wait seven to eight months for the toys. Ooh, wow. I hope you like my take on the classic Donatello, which is your favorite as well. Uh, I have two questions. One's for you. First, what was your first Transformer? And secondly, how can I join Team Bottomus if I can? Uh, everybody asks me that. How can I join Team Bottomus? Um, it, there's no way to join it. It's just if you like watching my stuff, I just kind of say you're Team Bottomus. You, you enjoy my stuff. Uh, what was my, I honestly don't remember what my first Transformer ever was. I have no clue. If you don't receive and post, please post of your next mailbag. I don't know what that, that's from Dylan. So thank you, Dylan, from the, from the lovely land of the 2012 Olympics, I'm guessing. There's no, there's no, um... There's no nothing on there. I can't tell you. The first rule about Team Bottoms is we don't talk about Team Bottoms. Uh, yes, I do plan on getting Fall of Cybertron. Ah, can you remember I asked you to review Grimlock and Soundwave in your Neckbreaker video? No, I, I don't remember. I get a lot of people asking me stuff. Do I think gaming should be a sport? No, I don't think it should be. This has some stuff in here. He sent me bottle caps, it sounds like. I don't know. Let's see. Who's this from? I don't know who this is from. Opening... Oh, he sent me Legos. Hold on. Let's see. Parts needed. All right. He, he sent me a parts needed list. 
And I'm guessing instructions. He sent me bio cards for him. Okay, all right. So oh, he sent me Lego pieces. It seems like to make these feet. Let's see what we have here. Optobotomist Spencer again. What's up, Spencer? Uh, back with a few updates. Number one, I understand if you haven't gotten around to writing a response to my first letter, I haven't either. See, I was at uh, a Christian conference in West Virginia for a week. Also, number two, I've included parts for two sample Lego figures, Kirk's chair, laser beak, and Ravage, as well as bios and instructions. Lastly, number three, I wanted to know if, if you were interested in reviewing my figures, not because I want them exploited, but because I want your personal opinion. Anyway, I await your response and hope you like the figures. Um, I don't know how to put them together, though. Oh wait, yeah, I do. Oh, okay. Let's see. Let me see if I let me see if I can do this. Let's see if I can do this. Should I put this together here? Are you gonna review the Man of Steel Superman toys? I don't know yet. I, I'm not a big fan of how that movie is looking. I want. I gotta make sure I get all the pieces here. Okay. All right. Oh, I dropped one. Eh, eh. All right. Let's see. Let's see. I don't know who, who I'm actually building. Do you have both of them here? I guess. I guess there's both of them. Okay. Let's see. So, your instructions are actually kind of hard to to read, dude. Because you drew them. Um. So it's. Kind of hard to tell what's what. Oh, maybe, okay, maybe this is like that. Maybe. All right, hold on. All right, this is times two, so I did that. All right. Um, and, yeah, this is really, this is really hard for me to... Figure out these are the instructions. So it's it's really hard for me to see what's what really. Um so maybe 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 work on some, some other instructions and, and email them to me if if you like, because I, I'm sorry, but I can't figure it out. <laughs> I feel bad. I feel bad. But thank you, though. I really, I really do appreciate that, Spencer. That's very kind of you. Very thoughtful as well. Very thoughtful. Did I watch the 1,000th episode of Raw? I actually did. I didn't like it. <laughs> Media cows? Do you know who the media cows are? No, I never heard of a media cow. Uh, wow, this is actually a cool envelope. I really dig this. His address isn't there, is it? No. That's really kind of cool looking. We the people. Oh, here's his address. Okay, so let's see. What what did you send? This is a this is a big old thick envelope. I hope you didn't give me your life story. Let's see. All right, hold on. I'm having a hard time here. Oh, that's because that got taste there. All right, here we go. All right, what do we have? Ah, drawings. All right. So we got laser beak slash buzz saw. Very cool. Ah, itch. We have Soundwave. That's a good Decepticon logo there. Soundwave. Another Soundwave. G1 Soundwave. Communication Master. Very cool. Very cool. And we have Ravage. Of course you have to have Ravage. Very cool. Very, very cool. We got some letters in here. 
Oh, we have another drawing. Hold on. Ice Storm, X Decepticon, who's also a Autobot Jet now. You guys are so creative. Really, you really are. It amazes me. You guys have ideas for these. You create your own characters. Um, you draw how you would like them to look. I mean, it's it really is quite impressive. And here's the uh, the F11 Fighter Mode. for the one and only Ice Storm. Very cool. Very cool. Now, this is from Joseph. Let's see. Uh, Dear Optimus, before I saw you on YouTube, I was clueless, and now I know what is good quality. But I'm sending you pictures I drew from my toys and uh, a new Transformer I created. He is X Decepticon Seeker Ice Storm. I'm 14 years old, and I'm a big fan. And to pronounce my last name, but you, I, I, I won't say your last name, so I, I, I try to stay away from that. Uh, P.S., can you say my last name? Can you say my last name if you put it in your video? Oh, you can say my last name. I'm not going to say your last name just because, Joseph, um, I, I just want to keep people safe. So uh, I'm not going to say your last name, but I know how to say your last name. And it's actually pretty easy. It's actually pretty easy. Very cool. So thank you very much, Joseph. I appreciate that. What else we have going on? Uh, new stuff, Angel's Daddy. You'll find out. I'm not telling you. Uh, when is BotCon? BotCon will be next summer. Uh, Sal, yeah, I still do, I'll still be doing the the live stream later on this evening as well. Yeah. Uh, Paul, when are you and Pia going to do a review together? I highly doubt that's going to happen. What is your favorite out of the Batman Begins, Dark Knight? Uh, my favorite was Dark Knight Rises, the last one. I really thought that was the best one. Uh, the new Ultra Magnus figures, it's not out. Lego Man, did I get an envelope from Kansas? I don't know yet. We're, all, we're, we're winding down here. Uh, here's one from here's one from Kansas. This one's from New York. This one's from New York. So uh, I, I, so this big envelope, that might be it. Uh, this one's coming from Jordan. Well, not the country Jordan, but somebody named Jordan, it seems like. So here we go. Did I see what happened to J.T. Mitchell? What happened to J.T. Mitchell? Let's see. The paper. Is, oh, it's. Oh, wow. The paper is to protect from smudging. Oh. This is awesome. This is really awesome. Very good job. Check this out, guys. My wife is going to love this. This, I can almost tell you right now that this is going to get framed and put in our house. I can almost tell you that right now. You got Luna and you have Burger right there. That is so very cool. That is so very cool. Let me get this letter out here. Oh, geez, you wrote me a, you wrote me a life story too. Let's see. Dear Paul, first off, excuse my horrid handwriting and spelling. My name is Jordan. Yes, I take pride in sharing part of my name with the Green Lantern. I'm 17 years old. Everyone always assumes I'm male because of my name and handwriting. I assure you, I'm not. My Oh, so you're a girl. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, let's see. Uh, you may not... Um, Fox or Wolfie Fox 3... Uh, that's your YouTube name. You may not recognize it, but that's okay. I don't comment a lot. I've actually been to three of your live streams. I started coming when I found out about them, but I have not felt the need to comment yet. 
that's perfectly fine. That's perfectly fine, Jordan. Uh, the first video I ever saw of you, or a toy re review, was your review of the Transformers Prime Soundwave. To be honest, the concept of Transformers are toys completely slipped my mind. I know that seems impossibly silly, but I first discovered Transformers by watching the 2007 movie. I took a liking to it uh, then, but I wasn't too impressed. One night, I couldn't get to sleep and was flipping through channels, and I found G1. I will never forget that first episode I watched, The Golden Lagoon. That's a good episode. It's a good episode. That was the moment that led me to discover that there were more than just that one cartoon and movie. I was too overwhelmed by the sheer number of series uh, there were to think about toys. I had to watch all of it, or I had to watch it all. Uh, the only series I haven't watched yet are Headmasters, Super God, Master Force, and Victory. I've even gone as far as watching the Rescue Bots. It's cute. It's actually how she wrote that. That's pretty funny. Uh, I drew a ca caricature. I drew you a caricature. I usually draw them for my friends. They see. They seem to like them. So I thought you might. You're a bear, if you're wondering. Don't feel bad if you couldn't guess. Uh, actually, I, I got it because you put bear there. So I figured it out. See? Us boys are smart. Me smart. Yes. Um, <laughs> uh, let's see. Your Team Bottomist shirt isn't exact, but it's your Team Bottomist shirt. Your hat has a Wheeljack-inspired color scheme because I know he's your favorite. The top part of the hat looks similar to his chest. Um, it's faction symbol. Okay. Uh, my personal favorite Transformer is Starscream because he's such a jerk, and he seems like he'd be intelligent if he let his ego go a bit. Luna and Burger, my personal favorites of your cats, no offense to Gracie and Louie, are standing at your side. And I had to look up your Puggle review again to get Burger's markings correct-ish. Don't be so surprised when people send you stuff. You are more loved and appreciated than you realize. Jordan. Thank you, Jordan. That really means that really means a great deal to me. That's absolutely fantastic. And I can I can tell you right now, um, this is definitely going in the pile of uh of stuff that's going to get hung up. That's very cool. So, Jordan, thank you very much. Thank you very, very much for that. That's very nice of you. Uh, I, I only act surprised because, I mean, it's one of those things where I don't really expect a lot of people to, I mean, it's weird. I don't, I don't, I don't look at myself uh, as like a celebrity or anything like that. So when people say that they're my fans, it's really kind of weird to me. It, it's not something that I, I'm really used to accepting just yet. So it's, uh, it's, it's, I don't know. I don't know. It's weird. You know, I mean, it's when people have come up to me, uh, oh, there's Wolfie Fox. Hey, Wolfie. Thank you, Jordan. That's, I'm, I'm so glad you're here and you're here for that. Um, you know, it's like I have, I've had, you know, at BotCon and at uh, Comic-Con, I had people come up to me and ask me for my autographs and recognize me and stuff. I really get kind of awkward and, and embarrassed. Ask any of my, like, actual friends and stuff. They've been around me when they when that has happened. I get really kind of, my face gets red. I, I get embarrassed. I, I really do. So it's uh, it's hard for me to really grasp that whole thing. You know, I'm, I'm not, I'm not a, cele I don't think of myself, uh, as a celebrity, yeah, I, I saw that with JT Mitchell, and I actually, I'm, I was going to talk about that later on. I'll, I'll get to that, Prius. Um, but um, you know, I don't, I don't think of myself as a celebrity, really. I mean, you know, Kim Kardashian is a celebrity. Uh, I don't know who else. Other people are celebrities. I'm not a celebrity. I'm known, um, but that's really about it. So. I don't know. It's it's weird for me to to accept that. Yeah. Uh, now this is from Connor from Kansas. What's up, Connor? This is cool. I like Manila in the loops. Gotta open this. Manila in the loops. But yeah, I, I saw that somebody sent him that stuff. See now, everybody, everybody, go, everybody. Excuse me. Should check out Wolfie Fox. 
Let's see what we have here from Connor today. Oh, some more Ninja Turtles. Some more Ninja Turtles. I got to get that on here. The Turtles. The Turtles. Hey, Optobotus, my name is Connor, and I'm 14. I've been a fan of her since the beginning. I hope you like my drawings, or my drawing. I felt it was necessary since you're a huge Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle fan, just like I am. So I just felt it was necessary. Oh, and say hi to Mrs. Optobotus, Burger, Luna, and Burger. Wait, Burger and Luna for me. Everybody forgets about Gracie and Louie, those poor guys. Uh, you might recognize me as Lego Man. Of course I recognize you. Of course I remember you, Connor. Very nice. Nobody remembers. That's why. That's why I was so happy that Louie made an appearance in my uh, sewer playset review. Um, because the the uh, everybody forgets about Burger, it, or everybody forgets about Louie. Uh, let's see. You shouldn't be shy about it. You're doing good things for us in the Transformers community. I like it. Well, I, I I know, but it's it's still weird when I'm recognized. It's it's weird. Have I ever been to Japan? No, I've never been to Japan. Scrap metal. He's he's actually. You you got a good point. When I'm reading other things, I'm not looking at my the chat, so I can't see anything. That's kind of funny. So let's see. Almost, almost done. We got we got two more we got two more little uh, envelope things here. This is from Joe. Joe, what does Joe know? Joe, Joe, what do you know? Uh, I've never been to the Philippines. Louis the Ham. He's a ham. Gracie the Quiet One. That's very true. Gracie's the Quiet One. Burger is the rambunctious one, and Luna is a lunatic. This is all very true. Luna, 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 and Burger are the most uh, interested in uh, in appearing on camera. What do we have here? A reusable envelope. All right, with a letter attached to it. We'll just do that. I like being able to also block people in here. That's fun. Oh, shoot. It ripped a little bit. Oh, that's okay. It's just the back. All right. See the folder. Oh, okay. I have to see the folder before reading this. Okay. All right. So, what's up, Lego Metal? Uh, I have been to Canada, yes. Ooh, wow. That's really good, too. Check this out. i got to actually stand back. That's Optimus Prime. That's really cool. There's a lot of detail put in this. That is awesome, guys. Never stop doing what you're doing. Thank you very much. Let's see. Now I can go on to read this. All right. Hey, Optobotomous. I'm a big fan of your reviews. I like that you're honest about your reviewing. But not only are you honest, you're also smart and know what makes good makes good a toy collectible. Uh, and you'll say it straight out if it's horrible. <laughs> That's true. A lot of reviewers don't go to the level go don't go to level of honesty, but you're not afraid to, and I like that. I'm also a fan of your comments such as, oh yeah, just pull his arm off. Okay. <laughs> I've done stuff like that. Uh, I think it's great that when something doesn't go as planned, you make a joke out of it. I think you I think you gotta sometimes when reviewing toys, you gotta think like a kid, not physically, but mentally. And that's true. Uh, you know, when you're reviewing stuff, I mean, you have to put yourself in the position of a kid. Um, I've been watching reviews, your reviews, when I started to get back into collecting. I used, I used to a lot when I was little, but for years I stopped. I don't know why. But whatever the reason, uh, I'm back to my love of toys and watching you comment to still loving collecting toys makes me proud. Dude, You, j this is just all one big run on sense. <laughs> My wife would absolutely hate reading this. Um, uh, I live by your reviews when something comes out. I want to know if it's good in your first, re in your first reviewer I check. 
So besides being a fan of collectibles, I my, myself am an avid artist. My goal is to get into drawing for comics or creating characters for animation, possibly working for a toy company. I've got options. Ha ha. So I'm taking the right steps to get there, uh, already choosing the right college for my field. Then who knows? Good for you. That's very important. School, very important, guys. Very important. Um, so I figured you would like to see my work, and being your fan, I'm happy to give it to you. Uh, the concept is for the idea of mixing G1 Optimus with the Bay Optimus, the Michael Bay Optimus, to create a fusion of the two. He's truly one of a kind, truly a one of a kind Transformer. So, all that being said, I would love for you to show your friends, family, and all of YouTube in a special shout out of my drawing. In this business, it's best to get out there as much as possible. Thanks, Joe Ryan. Ryan, 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 riot. It got smeared. Um, I dig your collection of, or I dig your collection in your room. Uh, mine is impressive, but yours surpasses greatness. Never stop embracing collecting. Uh, I never will stop collecting. I have no intention of it, and I can totally see that. This is this is really good. I wish you the best of luck, Mr. Joe. That's really cool. And you thought to put it in this nice protective envelope. That's very nice of you. Very nice, very wise, very wise. And of course, he put it in the, the, the foam thing as well. Awesome. All right, so let, let me see what's going on in the, the comments. Look up. I'm looking up. I'm looking up. Uh, let's see. How often do I clean my shells and figure some dust? Uh, once a week. I have them cleaned once a week. You're getting a lot. I I am the the amount the amount of drawings that I'm getting is awesome. Have you been to Mexico? No, I've been close to Mexico, but I've never actually been to Mexico. Uh, I cannot draw to save my life. I suck at drawing. I'm terrible. Absolutely terrible at it. Uh, let's see. So the last last little bit right here we have from Brandon. Uh, from I can't even say it, but it's somewhere in New York. Self-sealing. Jeez, holy God. Yeah, it's self-sealing. Self-sealing and impossible to open. Holy cow. Oh. I guess I can, there we go, there we go, all right, so, then slide this out, did I get it, did I get it all, yes, all right, so, oh, oh, what do we have here, oh, we have a nice Autobot logo, and, oh, here we go, Bruticus, that's cool, all the Cybertron Bruticus, very nice. Dear Optimonymous, I'm a big fan of your videos. After seeing your reviews, uh, I go on eBay and sometimes buy them. My mom hates it. My mom hates when I buy them sometimes. She says it's a phase and it will get old, but I'm 13. Transformers will never get old. And for the upcoming Fall of Cybertron toy, which one are you looking forward to? Mine is Sideswipe. I really am looking forward to Grimlock. I, I really hope that they... Um, I really hope that they actually do more of the Dinobots. P.S. Hope you like the drawing. P.S.S. It's a copy, not the original. Oh, that's it. Really? That's a pretty good copy. That's actually a really... Because it almost looks real. I, was, I thought it was real, actually. That's really good. So, Brandon, thank you very much. Thank you very much for that, sir. Um, but that's it. That's it. So let me see what we have going on in the uh, the chat a little bit here. Have I ever been to England? No, but I'm hoping to next year. I would love to go there for auto assembly. Uh, I've never been to Japan, Derek. <laughs> the 
<laughs> Mario Productions, what's up, man? What's up, Big Bot? That's funny. Good to see you again. Good to see you again, Mario. Um, Norway. Wow. God, it's getting warm in my room. Uh, I have been to Canada many times. I, I used to live in Michigan, so we uh, I, I used to be like the a bridge away from from Canada, so we would go over there quite often. The one and only Matt hanging out with me here. Let's see. But uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna be wrapping up here. Do I like pie? Yes, I like pie. Uh, my wife's name is Veronica. My favorite fruit, Pimptimus, is uh, I I really love sushi. Sushi is my favorite uh, thing. Uh, when the new masterpiece Sideswipe comes out, I would absolutely get it. Or I, I'm I'm absolutely going to review it. When is the next BotCon here in Pasadena going to happen? I don't know, Derek, but uh, I hope it does, and I hope you're able to go because that'd be cool to actually meet some more people. Darth Joker, that's very nice of you. Thank you. Have you seen a UFO? Not recently. Not recently. Uh, so JT Mitchell got a uh, a package of uh, mailing boxes and things like that, uh, flat rate boxes. I actually got a package similar to that with a whole bunch of envelopes and stuff in there to mail stuff with. Uh, so I, I went to my post office today and I picked everything up this morning, and I had two uh, two uh, slips in there saying that I had to go to the the actual office to pick things up. And when I got there, they handed me boxes of boxes. So I thought that was really kind of cool. Uh, I have played the Fall of Cybertron do demo and I really do like it. I think it's really cool. But but that's going to that's going to be it guys. Um I got to I I'm I'm warm. I got to get my air on. I got to cool down. It's really it's really warm in here. Um but um so my my normal uh my normal U stream tonight is tonight at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So, we'll I mean, I'll be I'll be hanging out, we'll be drinking beers, we'll have a we'll have a good old time. Uh, that is all you have to do is go to ustream.tv and then search for off the bottom that's the best way to do it uh, or if you follow me on Twitter and if you follow me on the Team Bottomus Facebook fan page, I post a direct link right on there so you can check that out. Um any chance we'll see a Starscream Fall of Cybertron or Grimlock review? Yep, when the figures come out, you will. Absolutely will. Uh, so, so it's almost 3 o'clock here. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, so 4 hours. About 4 hours away. Um, and then, uh, uh, yawning again. So, uh, again, the address... If you want to send anything, is Optobotomus at P.O. Box 3256, Huntington Beach, California, 92605-3256. Send me whatever you guys want. I mean, I love getting things. I get some amazing artwork, as you guys can see. Showcase your stuff. If you're a great artist, send me something. I'd love to show people what you actually draw um, or what you've drawn. And, uh, you know, I mean, that's a great way, I guess to show things off. Um, I, I love, have I been to Hunts, Huntsville, Alabama? I actually have been to Huntsville, Alabama. Um, but, uh, you know, I mean, the letters that you guys send are so very nice. I love reading those and seeing from where everybody comes from. Um, the, the drawings are fantastic. The, the, the little games that some of you guys have sent are awesome. I got the Lego thing today. Uh, got some great artwork. Anything that you guys want to send. If you wanted to send a toy, I mean, like, I have gotten toys sent to me before. So, anything that you guys want to do, uh, as long as it's legally allowed to be sent through the United States Postal Service. 
that's all you can really do. Um, but uh, I, do, I am actually really kind of tired. I'm really dragging today. Take a siesta? I might. I might. That's not a bad idea, actually. Um, so, everybody, thank you for coming by. I love seeing everybody show up for these. It's wonder, a wonderful way to, to have fun. Remember, uh, you should do another show on YouTube also. You should. Oh, okay. Hmm. That sucks. Um, but uh, the Ustream show still goes on. I still like doing those because that's what most people know from them. So Ustream.tv, and then just search for Optobotomus at 7 p.m. tonight, Pacific Standard Time, which is 10 o'clock Eastern Time. So that's about it. Um, and I didn't get drunk last week. I drank a beer and a half. Mm -hmm. Oh, Tyler messaged me. Huh. Took him long enough to reply. I text messaged that boy hours ago. But um, but that's it, guys. So thanks to everybody that stopped by. Uh, if you if you're watching this later on, don't forget that you can check the uh, the link in the description where I will put. The, uh, the link to where you guys can see where everything has come from. Uh, and you can see how crazy it is. That's about it. So until tonight, guys, or until tonight, guys, thank you for tuning in, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.